Travel talk coming to you from the Arabian travel market. We're looking at Oman, a regional player in the aviation sector. And Abdul Rahman, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, thank you, you're welcome. Let's have a look, first of all, at the fleet expansion and the introduction of the Dreamliner. What's it mean to Oman Air and what's the size of the fleet now? Uh, we have, uh, the total fleet is uh, 54 uh, aircraft. We have uh, uh, eight uh, Dreamliners, uh, 10 uh, A330s, 32 Boeing 737s, and four Embraer aircraft. Uh, we expect to be expanding our fleet of, uh, of Dreamliners. Uh, basically, they're designed to replace the uh, Airbus A330. They are uh, modern more modern aircraft than the uh, uh, A330. Uh, they have a, a fuel saving of about 20%. Now, since fuel is going up, it makes a lot of difference. It's very important. So uh, that's where we're heading, yeah. So 20% saving in fuel is significant, as you say, with fuel prices going up, even more so important. Moving from the fleet now to destinations, What's happening in terms of expansion, uh, new routes and added frequencies? We've expanded quite a bit in the last three years. Uh, we've opened so many uh, new routes. Uh, we've opened uh, Meshhad uh, in Iran, Najaf uh, in Iraq, um, uh, Guangzhou this uh, this December, Nairobi we just did, and we are launching uh, Manchester uh, next week actually, and uh, we've increased our frequencies to Europe. Uh, Paris we are flying uh, three times a week now. Now we are daily. Uh, Zurich we're going to daily. London we're going to double daily. So we are, we are really uh, expanding. It's time now to slow down and uh, uh, build up on, the, on these routes that we've launched. And in two years' time, we'll again start the expansion. Well, Manchester's interesting. It's my part of the world. So I'm just wondering what is driving your growth on the, you know, the long-haul routes? Uh, to Manchester, we have uh, a number of uh, Omani students who are studying in Manchester. Uh, we are, will be focusing on on that traffic. Uh, there are a number of uh, uh, employees from Manchester who are working in Oman in different sectors, and there's a large uh, Indian and uh, Indian subcontinent. Uh, travel between Manchester and the Indian subcontinent. And using uh, Oman for his hub in Muscat. Now, Oman Hare has a reputation for his onboard hospitality, Omani hospitality. So, how is that reflected to the, the passenger on board? Uh, well, um, the warmth of the Omani hospitality is well known. I mean, we start uh, by welcoming you with a uh, uh, typical Omani dates and, and coffee and our menus are very um, generous uh, in conformity with the uh, Omani uh, customs. Uh, we want our guests to be full and satisfied. Uh, so it, it comes through. It comes through. Uh, uh, that's a, I mean, if you take a sector like Muscat, Dubai, it's only 50 minutes flight and we give you a hot meal. It, we give you a hot meal, that's a sign of how hospitable we are. And that service is recognised because I can see on your posters uh, the awards you've won, the World Travel Awards, uh, for numerous years in economy class and also business class. So how important are the World Travel Awards to you? Uh, they, they are very important. They are. Uh, a testimony from independent uh, parties or, or bodies that what Oman Air is doing. 
uh, it also tells us we are on the right track, being recognized. So it encourages us to do more. Well, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us and uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.